So I've addressed escaping atheism uh, in the past, as though there is anything to escape <laughs> the idea I don't believe in God. And I, I've asked for people to give me some more challenging things to, to talk about when it comes to atheism, because a lot of it's played out, you know? We've been over the same arguments. Their arguments never change, so the refutations of those arguments never change. I am yet to receive anything that is that is truly challenging, but I do still often encounter people with rather strange and entrenched ideas that they think are killer blows to, to atheism, or even not even atheism, other other things that I, ha that I happen to hold to, such as materialism. Not materialism as in, oh, I love spending money, check out my bling, but materialism as in the concept that everything is physical, that there is no metaphysic, that there is no spiritual dimension. And so long as there is no evidence of this immaterial spiritual dimension, there is no reason to believe that there is an immaterial <laughs> spiritual dimension. For some reason this seems to up upset certain people and they think they have a humdinger of a slam dunk idea that will somehow demolish this idea that the material world is all that we see. And this happened on, in response to one of those, those videos and the guy just kept repeating and repeating the issue and I didn't seem to be able to get through to him so I'm gonna try again here. Now their conceit is that ideas are immaterial so let's go through an idea and you tell me at which point it becomes immaterial so let's take the idea Dean Esme is a bellend I come to this conclusion from observing Dean's behavior in the material world. I see what he says, I see what he does, I see the videos he makes, I see the podcasts he goes on, I see the streams that he goes on. These are all actions in the physical world and he is expressing ideas and these ideas are being expressed in the form of light reflecting off a page or a pixel glowing, you know, that, that's physical. That's how I'm receiving these, these ideas. They are moving through the, the physical world and entering my, my senses. If they come in through my ears, they hit my eardrums and the vibrations of the sound wave are picked up, interpreted and recognized as words by my brain and then encoded into my brain as memories, short term usually to start with, you know, onto the, onto the cells and, and the patterns in my head. And then later on, when I recall these ideas, my brain accesses these, these memory sections and the concepts and so on associated with them. So at every step of the way, I mean, it starts as chemical and bioelectrical coding within Dean Esme's damaged head. That's then expressed as sound waves, pixels, you know, things that exist in the physical world. They're picked up by me through my physical senses and interpreted on the basis of things already encoded in my brain from previous observations of the physical world. We learn language by association with physical objects, actions, things. So at what point in this process does this become immaterial? Because it's come from encoding in Dean's damaged head. It has transferred via physical processes. It's been picked up via physical processes and it's been encoded, it encoded via physical processes onto a physical brain and that's where I get my observations from and that's where the idea Dean Esme is a bell end comes from and and how it exists within my brain you know and we know this we can see ideas we can see emotions encoded into the brain here we can even tell differences between similar kinds of ideas and feelings so here's love maternal love and romantic love side by side and we can see the different areas of the brain that are accessed and activated by that. So the entire chain is physical from, from start to end. There is no metaphysical, there is no spiritual, there is no immaterial here. Where, where is it? 
tell me. Old Fat Punks is part caper, part comedy, part nostalgia and part commentary. It follows three aging punks as they build themselves up for one big, nihilistic last hurrah. You can buy Old Fat Punks at Amazon, Drive Through Fiction or Lulu.com. Follow the links below or search on those sites. When I was just a baby.